Okay, so we're going to be doing a twofer today. Uh, I was finishing up this enclosure, and I had some people in the past ask me about the basking platforms that I put in my enclosures. Super simple, um, but let, let me just, there's a little thing I did that's kind of cool. Alright, you got your basking shelf. Just adds a little bit more floor space, but here's the key. You're going to have your thermostat come out on top of the, uh, not the thermostat, the probe will be laying on your basking shelf. This, in one, is going to allow your radiant heat panel to not work as hard. So it's going to be a good thing. Not to mention, you're going to have one temperature for the top, which should be between 86 and 88 degrees. You're going to have a lower temperature underneath, probably around 82 to 84. And then you're going to have your cool side on the opposite end of the enclosure, which is, should be around 77, 78 degrees. So that gives them a three temperature differential to self-regulate. Very cool. But that's not it. This is a, an altercation that I, alteration, altercation, alteration that I did on the shelf. If you will notice on the back, there is this piece right here. Now, this is a three quarters of an inch wide. It is screwed in from the top, all right, and it is uh, the half inch. Uh, PVC. So, what is that for, you ask? I am going to show you. If you look in the enclosure, ta-da, you got a little L-bracket. So, what that does is it creates somewhat of a lock, but it keeps it from shifting. Now, I'm going to try to do this. Let me see if I can set this up. I don't know if I'll be able to or not. Now, hopefully, that is going to show you how that's done. I'm not going to do it that way because I can't see it. All right. So basically, with that L shape, you're going to take it. Boom. So... It is actually locked in place. Now, the difference, it will slide either way, this way or the other way. But you want a little bit of play in it for the simple fact that a retic will find a way to break something. So you do want a little bit of play in that. But I wanted to show you that that's how I make my basking shelves that's how I put them in the enclosure. Just look at that thing. I'm here to tell you, I'm very pleased on how that came out. Again, you're going to want to put your probe on top of the basking shelf. That'll give you a three temperature differential for basking areas uh, for self-regulation. So it can all be good. Shelf itself, measure, uh, cut out the dimensions you want for the top. And it's basically just putting... Uh, four five and a half inch by two inch legs on it screw it down in there and there's your shelf but the cool thing is the little locking mechanism for the back so they don't slide it all over the place in the enclosure messing up your substrate and uh, just creating havoc there's your helpful tip for today the twofer for this monday uh, hope you enjoyed that give me a like and a subscribe i appreciate each and every one of you watching and we'll see you on the next one Thanks a lot.